Madam Speaker, members, on behalf of the Women's Caucus, I rise in strong support of ACR 6, recognizing February as Black History Month. I want to personally welcome the former Assembly members of the 47th District, Assembly Member Amina Carter and Cheryl Brown, who are with us here today also. As we honor and reflect on the accomplishments of African American leaders in the fields of politics, education, science, and entertainment, we cannot forget our collective role in the fight for equality and justice. Justice takes many forms. Economic justice, providing that regardless of where you start, you have a path to the middle class. Racial justice, making sure that regardless of the color of your skin, you are treated fairly and with dignity. Environmental justice, ensuring that where you live does not dictate your right to have clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. Too often, I know that justice may feel as if it is lacking, as many of our diverse communities still face many challenges, challenges that often bear a disproportionate burden on African American and other minority communities. This is why we must remember that equality and justice are not static markers in the road of our democracy. We must consistently tend to it, following the example of many of the great leaders that are recognized during this month. The struggle continues and we must ensure that we do not become satisfied with only partial progress, but rather equitable opportunity for all the people of this state. I would like to close by congratulating the Black Caucus on its 50th anniversary and encourage my colleagues to take time this month to reflect on not only the rich history of the African American community, but on our role in the struggle for justice. I ask for your I vote on ACR 6.